guys so this is part four of our design system react typescript <clears throat> okay so we're gonna go right into adding uh creating an interface for our data that we, that we are gonna get from the back end or from this api we're using rapid api i showed you in i think in video two what the api looks like so here's how here is how the data looks like that we're gonna use uh, country, province, uh, provinces, um, dates, and we can go into more of the provinces and see that we have province confirmed, recovered, deaths, and active. Uh, so let's see. Let's close this up. All right, good. So now what we need to do is let me see what I want to do next. All right, so I'm going to create our our interface inside the component. So we're going to create just a basic TypeScript file. I'm going to call it inter face.ts I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is ex export not const I'm so used to that interface I'm gonna call it COVID data capital just call it COVID and then let's see what our data looks like go back to the uh, postman we have country and we, we see that country is a string so we say country, country is a string. What else do we have? We have provinces. This is an array. Provinces. And then what is inside this array? Let's open, let's just open one of them. We have an object, province, confirmed, recovered, debt, and active. So object, we have province. And what is province? Province is a street. I mean, it's a string. We have confirmed. That's a number. We have recovered. That's also a number. We have deaths. That's also a number. We have active. That's also a number. We don't need to do all of them, honestly. Because we're not going to be using all of them. But that's fine. Next is you have the longitude and then we have the latitude. Latitude is first. Let me just copy that because I can't spell it. Number. Longitude. Number. And then we have the final one. Dates. Which is a string in this case. Well, actually, it's not a string. Um, it's a date. What am, I, what am I talking about? Okay. Beautiful. All right. So this is how the COVID data would look like. This is how we'll create the interface for it to tell uh, to tell anyone that's going to use this data, especially our Axios, once we get this data, what to expect. All right. So now let's go back to our store. Let us uh, create our first uh, variable, actually. So let's create um, our initial state. Initial state. It's an object. Let's call it COVID data. There we go. So we see that there's a few things that we need to do with this. We need to tell initial. We need to tell React what type of information is initial state. What what is COVID? What eventually would be populated inside this COVID data? What is going to be here? And you know, once we run our API, that's so we need to uh, tell tell type um, tell initial state that information. So we're gonna create another interface called state. Export interface state and we and state is going to have is be is going to be the covid data this and then this is going to be covid array so this interface but an array of it all right so let's start exporting this out let's start exporting this information what i'm going to do is i know i'm going to have a lot of information inside this component folder so i'm going to create an an index file of it right away and I'm going to say export uh, 
uh, how do you do it again? I think it's export. Uh, let me see. I'm just thinking. How do you? Um, I think it's export default. Let's see. Is it export default? Export. Um, let's call it interface. This might not work, but let's try export interface. Oh, actually, no, this would work from um, interface. So what are we getting from here? We are, we are using, actually, we don't have to do it here because there's going to be a bunch of in interfaces here. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm skipping steps. No, I'm thinking of something and I'm doing something else. That's not good. I'm sorry for that. So let us just import it here. So we're going to import our interface. We're going to in import. We just need stay for now. This is our components interface. So what do we need? We need state. There we go. And state is going to be explained to initial state. All right, this is beautiful. This is good. All right, so next we want to pass we we can um we can destruct actually we can destruct <clears throat> the state and then in here we would have covid data so what is state it's that's a red because state hasn't been defined yet it will stay with a small capital so we're going to create our reducer we're going to say const state dispatch to change the state and we're going to now use use reducer but we need to bring it in so we so we would say use reducer and then we would use it over here now use reducer takes two things a reducer and the initial state okay beautiful this is good so this is the state that we are sending now this COVID data that we did just dispatched i mean that we just destruct from the state we're going to pass it here so this is good does not exist on type unknown yeah that's oh that's fine we would uh we would fix that all right so the next thing that we want to do is we want to <clears throat> We want to add more information to to uh, create create um, to this context over here, so it would know what COVID data is all about. So we want to create an interface basically for the context, so it would basically know that there is COVID data over here to use. So I'm I'm going to go to the interface. I'm going to say export. I'm going to say interface, call it context props. And then, so we're going to have COVID data. COVID data is going to be obviously COVID dash on array, just like state. But I'm creating a new one because this is not, this is going to be different. This is going to have more stuff in, in the context props. So in here, we would have more things that we're going to pass. That are not that would not be all in here, so I'm giving information to that. So I'm gonna say context prop, save it. I'm gonna import that out here. So now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to use in. Uh, I'm gonna give this information to create context. So I'm gonna say use partial, and then inside partial. I'm going to give context props. There we go. All right, so this is this is going well. This is good. We still have some red and yellow lines. We haven't used this batch. This is fine. Let's see. So the next thing I want to do now is I want to create the reducer, but I'll do that in the next video. I think we are good here for now. I'm not going to save it because if I save it, I'm, I'm sure the UI broke already. I'm sure that this broke. This is not going to work. So let's save it. We'll see. It's it's not going to let you do do that. 
there we go that's fine we still have some things we need to fix but in this video we created the COVID data ex uh, interface the state and context props so in the next video we're going to create the reducer and we're going to create the the props for it and we're going to create the props for the the dispatch as well and 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 try to understand this red mark here why it's there